I'll feel the pythons, brother. And when I'm done with you, hopefully I'll get that little weasel in this 24-inch python. You shall feel the wrath of the pythons. I can't. <laughs> All right. He's a lot bigger than 24 inches, and he's still on the loose in Beach Grove. Yeah, the owner of the 14-foot Burmese python reported that a snake was on the loose sometime in the last week. Not real specific there. Well, Benny Tarbley says the snake named Vine escaped from the home in the 400 block of Byland Drive in, over the past few days, and it's all because he forgot to lock the cage. Now, check this out. Now that the python is on the loose, loose he's helpfully created a social media account so that you can follow along with this journey. The Twitter account is at BCH Grove Python. We don't know who exactly is behind the Twitter account, but the tweet last night to Metro Police about showing up at Long's Donuts today was pretty funny. We're all hoping they track it down soon. <laughs> yeah. That bird doesn't actually need the music to feel the groove here. This video is from Moose Horse Na Moose Horn rather National Wildlife Refuge in Maine. It was posted by the Center for Biodiversity. That's the male woodcock, and yes, that's the dance designed to get the attention of the female <laughs> woodcock during mating season. And woo! Got moves. Feeling the heat. He's got the moves. What, He's between, got the ladies. Between the hyenas coming. yesterday. I know. And this <laughs> guy <laughs> got his moves going on. You just never know the oh, animal we're kingdom. We're all the mating calls here yeah. on the RTV6 News. This is my favorite one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> all right, as you walk out the door this afternoon, lots of sunshine, low humidity, 83 degrees. Tomorrow, mid 80s, still low humidity. Then it gets hot and humid starting on Friday all the way through the holiday weekend. All right, Todd, thanks, and thanks for joining us and making RTV6 your choice for news. We hope you have a great Wednesday afternoon. Thank you.